Hi guys! So, happy new year! Happy, 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 happy new year! <laughs> so, I thought, since this is going to be my first video of 2020, why don't I just wish you guys a happy new year? And I pray 2020 would be a year of blessings for those of us that are in business. Um, and those that are going to be using these videos using my videos for their kids birthday their baby showers their you know any diy stuff you're going to be doing i'm wishing you all the best in 2020 and i hope you watch more of my video so like i promised i said two videos one was released for christmas and second one will be released for the new year so today is new year's day though i'm not filming it on new year's day um and yeah this is going to you should be quick i have not tried this technique before this is the first time I've, i'm trying it like i explained in the first video that i would usually just do a straight gal and then you know add the extra balloons but in this case i've seen other um, balloon artists do it this way and i want to try it out so what i did with the previous balloon was Instead of having to stack it myself, I cut them into pieces like I see the, you know, the balloon artists do. So what they do is, I think they get a fishing line, they get a fishing line and then they tie the balloons onto the fishing line. So this is the fishing line and you would find a fishing line in my Amazon store, the link is below. Um, and then you just... You can tie it, you don't even have to tie it to anything because you're not doing a long garland, you're just doing a short garland. Um, and you take your balloon, take some do it in twos, so they do this way, they wrap it around, yeah, like so. And then they take another two, um, they do it this way. And some don't even use fishing line. They just tie the nozzle. If you don't know what the nozzle is, this is a nozzle of a balloon. So they just tie it together. They tie um, um, duplets into fours by tying them together at the neck. But I wasn't trained to do it that way. So um, let's see. So this is a cord. A cord. And then... What they do is they take another set of four. So they just build it up into a cluster like this. You know? So this is a really big cluster. Cutting this off so that I can show you the outsu in a proper way um so i'm gonna this is another set this is a set of five wrapped around together so i'm gonna tie it to the fishing line So, yeah, and then just tie it off. I'm going to cut this off. So you take different clusters like that, you know, you have different clusters in different sizes and shapes. And what you just do is, so this is a four. So I'm going to start with the white at the bottom let me take away my oh god fishing line so i'm going to start with the one that's got the you know the big balloon i'm going to start with the white at the bottom for this one so i've tied everything this is just a mini garland so i'm just going to i'm going to bring the camera closer so you can see what i'm doing I've got balloons everywhere on the floor, so sorry. I'm 
remember I've tied the 260Q to the um, suction cup. So I'm just going to tie this. So this is what you do. You tie it to whatever, whatever the anchor is. And then you take the next one. They place it whatever way they feel like. My fishing line is not, oh, sorry, my 260Q is not long enough. So, then they tie it on, tie the 260Q on to it. Wrapped around the one sitting down, and then so that's the whites. So I'm gonna. I've done the same thing. So I've got the blues. I'm using this ones next. So this one's got like. A set of seven on it tied onto a fishing line. So I'm just gonna about me any new technique I'm always like a player like someone new to the balloon world doing it um, I'm gonna adjust the camera now I'm going to move on to the next set of blues. So remember the trick with this one is to do mini clusters instead of the long one. So this is another cluster. Sorry, two sixty here. Round it.
finding it funny because <laughs> I've never done this technique before. Um, but I have. I'm, I'm feeling it's not being. You know, it's not put together. So I'm using the three foot balloon here. So this place is, is looking empty, so I'm going to fill it. is not is looking separate from the um from the bottom so I'm gonna add more balloons there
Can you see? I don't like the way the bottom is, um, so I'm just going to add a bit more clusters to the bottom. So I'm not tying that in. adding clusters so you've got like you know a really rounded kind of like easy base I'm done with this look now I uh, personally I am not feeling this technique for me um, yeah I think it is it's taking me lesser time to get this done compared to the first one because then you have to build a garland and everything. so if you're talking about um, time um, the the first garland seems really much better but if we're talking about um stability neatness and all of that i think i would prefer the first um um garland because that it's more precise you, you know what you're doing with this one um i'm not sure i think this system i would um i would use it for um a wall a balloon wall yeah then i think it would work um then again it's this is my first time of trying this you know this technique so i shouldn't really complain um so yeah please guys tell me what you think about the two videos comment below and let me know which one you prefer um for me i prefer the first one maybe because it's what i'm used to um so yeah let me know what you think um this took me lesser time um okay maybe because the balloons were ready anyway so i can't really talk about the timing yeah but i still prefer the first one so yeah guys uh thank you for watching please remember to subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye